here pretty soon, but unfortunately, oh, there's an army coming up towards him with a um, large. Not the best force. Oh. I, and I really don't see anything wrong with this right now. He is kind of making the other Zerg player come around, but this is actually a bad move for him because if he's going to be able to flank from the backside, you know, mm -hmm. you really are going to be testing the limits of what you're capable of doing right now. I mean, this immortal really should be popping up shots on these roaches, but a couple more roaches come up into the mix, and he finally pretty much fends it off very well, you know, for the most part. I, yeah, I still think Zerg might be in trouble here. He's uh, he's getting low on units. Well, maybe not. He'll he'll be all right. Yeah, he's already he, has, he, he has researched Burrow, but he hasn't been using it in this battle. And I think it could. Uh, well, he does. He's almost finished with. Uh, he's almost finished with. Uh, uh, I believe it's tunneling claws. Yeah, the burrowed movement also. Yes, and so right now, I mean, he. I think he's just gonna outplay hindsight right now with all of these roaches, but. I mean, right now we do see no upgrades from the Protoss player, which I think we may later on be a very large disadvantage to him. Uh, and, you know, especially fighting the Zerg on the creep is not suggested. I really do think he should be cleaning up more of this creep and getting rid of all of these creep tumors, because if these creep tumors are, uh, you know, still here, it's, it's not going to be good for the Zerg player. Oh, nice wall. You I'm wondering know. what's happened to the Protoss's uh, observer. Actually, it's still over here. It's it's overhead. It's over the uh, roaches, and we saw a great burrow mm -hmm. underneath those force fields by Bacon Cheeseburger. I mean, but I mean, he's not. I find it interesting. He's not focusing down the immortal, and that's really where his focus needs to be because that immortal is doing so much damage on these roaches. Yeah, I agree with you there. Um, Looks like the Protoss player is really just thinking about trying to end the game as soon as he can. I don't know if that's going to happen for him, though. Uh, he's just adding on more gateways. It's, it's, it's about time that he expanded. He has he does have the money for it. Um, but it looks like there may be a lot of pressure coming on to him right now. Yeah, and if we take a look back at his base, I mean, we, he does have about five... Like a fifth one being thrown down, but nothing too crazy. We don't yeah. see any type of... Uh, Twilight Council or anything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do here. I think uh, it's all over but the crying. Pretty much, I do see a GG in the future of this game with all of these mass roaches coming in. I really do feel that he should have been thrown down if there's the GG. So, good game by all, but... <laughs> be throw down! That's right! Oh, man, what a great play by a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. And he's actually quite, uh, I want to say, like... He's been in these tournaments uh, quite a lot, and I've been able to cast a lot of his games. Um, but let's take a let's take a look at some of these stats on these players because I'm not familiar with them. So if you take a look at Junior Bacon Cheeseburger's profile, he's actually a top. He's one of the top eight platinum players. Oh, he's top one in his uh, season four mm. account. So this is pretty cool. I mean, he's a top one Zerg player, and his opponent, on the other hand. Hindsight is a platinum player, and he's in tenth, ranked tenth. So he's in the top twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the league rankings, kind of on the ladder right now? Yes. Oh, okay. That's yeah. If you go, if you go into their profile. Yep. Yeah, view leagues and ladders. Yeah. So, very good. I mean, if we take a look at the graph here, I kind of like graphs. It's just one of the things that kind of you can. I mean, I don't really know the meaning of everything. I just know it's army value and elapsed time of game, right? So you see the differential times of when they had a lot uh, and when they had um, when they had a lot of uh, drones when they were making it or what they were using their army. I mean, we saw around the seven minute mark. We saw that by around this time, hindsight was just pumping out as much as he could around that time just to put on the pressure and yeah. unfortunately you know it just Zorkman's def I'm sorry not Zorkman that's you <laughs> I got good D I got good D oh yeah <laughs> defense 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 <laughs> I heard there was a defense chant at NASL is that true that is true I wasn't there for it but I have uh, local barcraft people that I pretty much uh, hang out with at the bars and they were telling me I guess there was like this huge defense chant that was going on and it was awesome. Sounds pretty good. I'm a huge I'm from Toronto. I'm a big uh, Toronto Raptors fan, so I love the uh, 
I love any chance to, you know, 